What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today I bring you a complete guide on the mysterious box, what to do, how it's unlocked and its rewards. But before we go any further guys, if you do enjoy the video and would like to show your support, you can by hitting that like button and if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. So the mysterious box exotic quest starts with its discovery within the Volandor Forge. Enter the forge, head into this cave down to your left and grab this mysterious box. The mysterious box requires four keys to unlock it. The fish hook key, the butterfly key, the hand key and the black armory key. The fish hook key is unlocked as follows. During the Volandor Forge, after stage one, two drones will spawn in, which you have to destroy. One on the left upon this island near the very top and the second is located to the right of the room near this cave ceiling. Link. Shoot both of these drones and destroy them. Then go on to complete the forge. Whether you kill the boss or not, doesn't matter. The crate will spawn in near the forge, which you can open and collect this key. The handlock key is obtained for doing the same thing within the Gofanon Forge, destroying two drones that spawn in at the interval. After stage 1 ends and stage 2 starts, you need to locate these drones, which both can be seen on screen now. They both spawn at the far end of the room, and you have to take them out. Again, whether you kill the boss or not, the crate will still spawn in. Open the crate and collect this key. The third key, the butterfly key, is located by doing the same thing. While destroying two drones which spawn in at the interval within the Izanami Forge. These two drones can be seen on the screen now. Basically when you are on the main forge platform, one spawns at each of the other two platforms, left and right. Again, like the previous ones, you don't have to kill the boss to collect the crate and collect this key. So once you have collected the third key, this is where the quest is stretched out, as we know Bungie do. Now this part of the quest is the only part we, at the moment, are kind of unclear about. It's finding the black armor key mode. Now at the moment, we don't know how this is obtained. I do believe it may drop from the Berguzia Forge somehow. Maybe there's two drones in there which you need to kill and destroy at the interval, but because that forge hasn't been unlocked yet, well, while I'm making this video, I cannot confirm that. But as soon as it's figured out how this uh, Black Armour Key Mode is found, you'll find an edit within the video description. If there is a video tutorial needed, you'll find that link too. But once this is obtained, people, the first step in molding this key is to get a Watcher's Lens material from Watchers within the Leviathan Underbelly. And once you have collected the Watcher's Lens, you then have to find the Glimmering Amethyst, which you can only find concentrations of via supply caches, public event chests and strike chests. So once you have there what's needed, the next step is to forge the Black Armour Key. This is done again via completing the Burguzia Forge within the EDZ and obtaining maximum temper status. Once done, you will receive the Black Armour Key and you'll be able to open the Mysterious Box. Within the Mysterious Box, people, the quest continues. Within it, a mysterious decryption device. The Mysterious Box contained an artifact that seems to be a decryption device. Return to AD1 to show her what you have found. The decryption device allowed AD1 to decipher pages of the Black Armour papers. She has received instructions for an unidentified frame maybe a new black armory weapon. Here you have to follow Ada One's instructions and collect some unusual and hard to find materials for the unidentified frame. The first rare material is obsidian crystal. The obsidian crystal is found via a rare bounty completion from the forge. If you guys have been farming the forge and have had a rare bounty drop which rewards you powerful gear, that's what you need here. You need to complete it and upon doing that you are rewarded the obsidian crystal but guys if you have that bounty in your inventory ready to cash in do not cash it in until you're at this part of the quest. I've actually had one of these bounties in the past and I cashed it in like a noob I didn't know this was going to come so hopefully I'll get lucky and get another one of these bounties to drop but this in itself can take you absolutely ages that is for sure. So once you have done that and you've obtained the obsidian crystal you then need a material called ascendant glass shards. This you need to complete the Shattered Thrones mission, which is here this week, people. So once you've completed that mission and you have the Ascendant Glass Shards, you need another rare material called the Radiant Phase Glass. This you have to complete the Pyramidian Strike and collect that Radiant Phase Glass. Once that material is obtained, guys, you will then get an unidentified frame. Now this unidentified frame, known as the unidentified radiant frame, needs to be crafted in the Burguzia Forge which you do so via completing a quest called Lock and Key which will pop up within the EDZ. So once you've completed that mission, that quest, you then have to return to Ada One who informs you that this isn't a gun, but a charged Hyperion core that, according to the Black Armoury papers, is made to enhance a weapon very dear to Ada One. This weapon is now a key to the last secret 
that the black armory holds. This is where the last souvenir quest starts. This could however be a time gated thing. We may have to wait another week for this, but at the moment we ain't sure yet because nobody has got this far. This step is currently an in-game puzzle which will have to be solved upon this actual being found. It's called the mysterious data pad. This could be rewarded after a said week of waiting, i.e. the usual time gated rubbish we see, or it may be found via a secret way in game we don't know yet. Upon further inspection, info reads the following which you guys can see on the screen now. Wherever this quest step is and however it's completed, you are rewarded an ancient black armory frame. The objectives here are to get four essences, I believe one from each forge. The Fallendor Forge, the Gorfanon Forge, the Izanami Forge and the Bergusia Forge. Once these essences have been obtained, you then get the Obsidian Accelerator, an ancient weapon frame has been opened to reveal something unexpected. Take it to Ada 1 to figure out what this is. So once you return to Aid 1, she will have this epic piece of loot waiting for you. Or the weapon frame for it, where it would just require you to go and complete the forge as the normal weapon frames do. But that isn't factual yet. Now it isn't confirmed as to what this exotic will be, but I'd put my life on it being there is an Argy's Burden Sniper Rifle Exotic, as it's tied directly to Ada 1. The only other exotic we don't know about so far is the Arm Blaster Fusion Rifle thingy, I can't remember what it's called. But every other exotic we know so far has been called for. But I would put my money on it being the exotic sniper rifle. But damn people, that quest is a long one for sure. But yeah guys, this is how you complete the quest for the mysterious box and get the loot rewarded for completing it. Let me know your thoughts on this quest line. And on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really does help out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos like guides, top fives, gameplays, reviews, just about everything, make sure you subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But again guys, thanks for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.